All right, so to make FC25 look way more realistic than it actually can be, uh, just like I seen if you watched my previous video of the El Clasico, I did very cool gameplay with this camera setting. So first you're gonna go to settings and then game settings. Now, once you are under game settings here, you're literally just gonna copy what you see on the screen. So you could pause it at any time. For the match, I like the nine minute halves and the world-class difficulty, player best difficulty gotta be on as well. And that is about it. Now for camera settings, make sure it's on broadcast and the custom camera setting is also on default. You can also turn off power shot zoom so it is a little bit more realistic. But in terms of the visual settings right here, player name for the indicator, small, and then just again, just copy all of this as well. And some of these settings, obviously you'd want to switch on if you're playing regular gameplay, but just to make it look new, make it look very good graphically and fidelity wise, these are the settings that you wanna choose. Also the net shape and the meshing, I like to keep hexagon as it looks a little bit different. And that is about it. Now we're gonna move on over Skipping over to the simulation settings and I would like to keep the gameplay type on simulation medium and on for the weather effects. This just is for offline play if the wind will pay uh, dividends or will it actually change the way the game plays. CPU sliders just keep on the regular rules. I would turn off injuries and keep the referee strictness at strict. The brightness to keep at four and the contrast to keep at six. So more contracts, less brightness, as well as enhanced visuals as the last graphic mode option. And that is how you make it look really cool in FC25.